The biggest secret in the world is that I hated work. <laughs> <laughs> I never had a job in my whole life. Even when I was a real young bloke, all our local kids in Liskeyo had motorbikes in the finish and they were all young blokes and the bikes were only young two, two, two strokes and all that. So I just joined them. I just bought myself an old Triumph, about a 30 something model and joined, joined the club and then they started racing locally. So I started racing my little Triumph and I did all right. I didn't like works bike because they were dangerous. Uh, the factories used to change something on the bike and you've got to go out and race it and you don't know whether it's a good idea or not. Half of them got killed on them. So I kept away from them. I, ju I just bought me two Nortons every year. It was very difficult to, to win over there on a stand if you're on your own motorbike. Last year I was there. 1964? Yeah. They gave me a bloody ride on a Suzuki. I rode it but I wasn't happy with it because it was a works biker. Sure enough I rode it twice and fell off it. I couldn't trust those things. And Norton I knew exactly how fast it went and I could cope with it. But that little Suzuki, it went like a rocket, you know, and it sort of caught me un unaware one day. It wasn't too good. I had a big bandage around the top here, yeah. and uh, it'd give you a headache, you know. Yeah, it was a different country every weekend, and we all had a van of some sort. You drive to the next thing, and you got a week almost to just. Relax. After the races were over, he went up to his office in a queue sort of thing and he'd pay you your starting money, whatever it was. And when I went, got in the queue and got up to mine, this little bloke sitting behind the desk uh, he decided that I wasn't an A-grade rider, I was a B-grade rider, that's how he done. I'd only give half of the money. So I, I said, wouldn't have that? So I w walked around the desk, grabbed him by the thing and hung him out the door, out the window. I said, either I get me full body A-grade or I'll let you go. I wouldn't have done it, but nevertheless. But the ones I most I liked the most was the Isle of Man. It was beautiful. Oh, it was real good circuit if you knew where you were going. The corner corners were nice. There was plenty, plenty of bush around. But as long as you knew where the corners were, you were safe. I rode there bloody dozens of times. But the racing now is unbelievable. They got beautiful roads, beautiful bloody painting on the edges of the road and everything, you couldn't go wrong. And they've even got sand pits to fall in, if you happen to fall in. But in the first few years, it was in the bush you had to go. You were just on a, an ordinary road, a, a bloody traffic road, full of holes and whatnot. And if you made a mistake, you went into the bush and picked up a tree. It wasn't good in those days. I never knew what it was like to race on a slip tyre. I didn't want to actually. <laughs> <laughs> All you did was just rode as hard as you could and got your bike reliable and hoped to get in the first half a dozen even. You were 
get a bit of prize money. I didn't uh, didn't make any mistakes, really, and I didn't have a rocket bike. Mm. The bike was fairly slow and it was good, and I could keep out of trouble. I just wanted to keep racing. In other words, I didn't want to stop and start working. <laughs>